Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where we are CFB proud. Happy Wednesday to you. The mission of Newman Smith is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. And I'm your proud principal, Dr. Jimenez. Let's start with our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. Welcome to Newsday with Dr. J. So I had a question that was asked yesterday, and I'm so glad that you guys asked me. You're like, Dr. J, why are your shelves empty behind you? Well, let me tell you. So a couple of months ago, they decided to repaint and put new lights in the office, and we boxed up all of uh, my things, and we had to move them out. And then they told us, we may get you new furniture. And I said, you don't say. And they said, we do say, we do say. The furniture in this office has been here since 1986. Uh, I think that's the year of the, well, the year of the fire. Whenever the fire happened, I need to look that up. But the year of the big fire at Newman Smith, that this furniture has been here that long. So they, uh, they said they may get us some new furniture in the main office, and that's what I'm waiting on. So when it gets here, I can't wait to hear what you think about my new bookshelves behind me. All right, so... Uh, Today's word of the day is doctrine. It's a principle, theory, or position advocated by a religion or a government. The sample sentence is, devoutly religious people often live their lives according to their doctrines. Our quote of the day is, discipline is the ability to make yourself do something you don't want to do in order to get a result you really want to get. Okay, well, let's welcome Miss Reed, our Social Studies Department Chair, to read to us the uh, quote sent from the district about International Holocaust Remembrance. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Forschling introduced Holocaust Remembrance Week, Holocaust Remembrance Day, which is this Friday, January 27th. And so in our Declaration of Independence, we state all men are created equal. However, we know in our country's history and for what we've studied in class, we haven't always treated everyone as equal under the law. Uh, as we've learned about the lessons of the Holocaust, we have a responsibility to not let history repeat itself. This terrible act of dehumanizing individuals has called our attention to the importance of standing up for what is right and seeing the humanity of people who are different from us. We can make the world a better place by accepting others' uniqueness and being a kind person. Character counts. Character counts. Miss Reed, bravo. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Up next, we have a couple of housekeeping items. TSIA Testing 2 starts today. Our National Honor Society, our induction is tonight. So I'll see you guys in the theater tonight for that. And don't forget, absence failures started last week. So start those tutorials early and often so that you do not have an asterisk on your transcript. Uh, we'll be cleaning up those final asterisks this Friday, so that should roll. So Monday or Tuesday, if you have an asterisk that you believe is a mistake, we're going to be going line by line through those to make sure that we don't have scholars that have an asterisk that should not have one there. All right, well, let's have our special guests over today. But first, do you want a cookie? I mean, I want you to think about this. Do you want a cookie? Who didn't want a cookie? Everybody wants a cookie. So if you want to be a smart cookie, in February, read a book. Fill out a love it or hate it form with Miss Rebus and Miss Rogers, and then repeat. So look out. My Murder, She Wrote mysteries are going to be landing in there every five minutes. I can't wait to eat those cookies. And they're going to have extra prizes for the top five readers. Well, speaking of readers and speaking of books, our Trojan Pride guests today, and you've met them before, you're going to love them, our ladies from the yearbook. Come on over. Hi guys, we're with Yearbook. My name's Haley. And I'm Jacqueline. And we're here to remind you that this Friday, January 27th, is the last day to buy a yearbook off Jostens.com. Oh, say it's not so. It listen, is. listen, run, don't walk. You have to have a yearbook. Oh, what are you excited about the yearbook this year? Well, I'm most excited that we revealed our theme yesterday, and I love our theme. 
How did I miss this? Where did we reveal it? Well, we revealed it on our Instagram, which is Smith Ooh. Yearbook. So you should go over and follow us if you don't. Smith Yearbook on the Insta. Yes. Wow. Well, what's get, the thing? I'm getting my phone out right now. What's the thing? Yeah, we can say the theme this year is up. It's like our I movie up, the Disney movie up. Disney? Yes. Ah! <laughs> you know, I love Disney. Beautiful. We know. Yes, we know. We know, Dr. J. <laughs> so up. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Yes. I love it. It's our adventure book. The adventure book. Yes. And let me tell you what, scholars, this year's been an adventure, and they've documented it all. Yes, all right. Well, will y'all help me close? Oh, well, we have one more thing. Let's go. Um, seniors, if you graduated from Ferno and you want to be in the senior tribute, we are taking oh. the photo um, for that tribute this Sunday at 3 p.m. at Ferno. They do that every year. So you, Ferno, um... What's the Ferno mascot? Is it? I think it's the Indians. Yeah, it should be the Indians. I think so. All right, Ferno, get over there and take that picture on Sunday, three o'clock. Yes. Don't be late. Okay. Well, y'all ready now? Oh yes. We love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts, and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. <laughs>